Hi you guys, today's video is a really special video. I have an answer, finally. It's been uh, five years since my rash started and pretty much like 15 years since I've like had this like mystery illness. I've, my mom used to take me to the doctor all the time. We used to go to you know, regular doctors and nerve doctors and um, rheumatoid arthritis doctors and lupus doctors and we have been looking for an answer for forever and until recently I didn't really think that that and the rash were one and the same thing. So I wasn't really adding in a lot of those symptoms to the rash equation. I figured they have to be completely separate. The rash has to be something I'm touching or something I'm eating. I've got to be allergic to something weird. It took forever to get here, so I'm really excited to tell you I've got a really rare autoimmune disease. I'm allergic to my own hormones. I'm allergic to progesterone, which is called the pregnancy drug. Pregnancy drug? Pregnancy hormone and it's what makes you ovulate. So once a month you get a rather large spike of progesterone about a week before your period. Um, and I'm allergic to that. So it's <laughs> kind of weird actually to be honest, it's really weird. It took me forever to figure out. But basically what I started doing is started like six months ago or so, maybe like eight months ago now, I started recording for all, because of all my allergies. I started recording everything that I did, everything that I touched, everything that I wore, everything that I ate. I mean, I was a little bit OCD and insane about everything. Like, you know, I would write if I went to the grocery store and if I went to the grocery store, if I used a shopping cart or if I used a basket or if I didn't use one at all, if I used self-checkout or if I was rung up normally. I kept track of everything. I kept track of the weather for that day in case it was like something weird like that. I kept track of my periods. I took, you know, I drew like a little body and drew my rash every day. And it finally started to look like about a week before my period, I was getting a really bad flare up. And so I started looking into that more and I've run across autoimmune progesterone dermatitis a few times before. And I've actually asked my doctor a number of times, like a, a number of different doctors, if I could possibly be allergic to my hormones, if it could be hormone related. And until my new doctor, Dr. Khan, until him, everyone said, yeah, maybe, but you know, it, it's definitely something you're touching. It's definitely contact allergy dermatitis. Like it, it's, it can't be anything else because otherwise it wouldn't, you know, fit this certain, it wouldn't come back every month just in these certain spots or just be in these certain spots. So I never really pushed for it until this summer when I, really started to notice the pattern and was like, and started talking to a couple of girls on Reddit who have it and talking um, to a couple of girls on forums and doing as much research as I possibly could. And I went in on, I think July 27th for an emergency appointment because it was the worst rash I've ever had. I said, Dr. Khan, I think it's my hormones. Do you recommend I get off my birth control? And so he said, yes, and I did. And then I had a regular cycle and then my next cycle about a week before I had a really bad flare up. Um, I had a whole bunch of weird symptoms during the week of my period. Um, like I almost went to the emergency room because every time I stood up I thought I was going to faint. I spent the entire day laying on the couch with my feet up because I honestly thought I was going to faint if I stood up. And when I did need to get up I literally crawled places in my house. I have a weird body. <laughs> and then. I had one more cycle and again it came back like a week before. So I saw Dr. Khan on September 1st and I printed out a crap ton of different research and I presented it to him and I said, look, I need to know if you think uh, from a medical standpoint if I meet the clinical diagnosis standards. Um, I brought in my planner with like my periods <laughs> marked out and my rash marked out in like color coded colors. I laid it all out on like the exam table and we just sat there and we talked about it. He read the articles. He said, you know, it sounds like just from your recordings of your rash and your in your regards to your period, it sounds like like you ha you have this. But there is a test which I had printed out and, and um, given to him that day. There is a test where they inject progesterone into your arm like a normal skin test. Um, 
like there's prick tests where they just kind of prick you on your back and then there's patch tests where they apply a patch to your back and then there's like intradermal ones where they actually inject a tiny bit under like in between your layers of skin and see if it reacts so I told him that there was a test and I asked him if he would be willing to do it for me because some of the girls I've been talking about talking to online said that their allergist was the one who did the test, not like a different specialist. So I asked him if he'd be willing to do it. He's brand new out of medical school. He hasn't done this before. This is a super rare autoimmune disease, by the way. Like, according to all the articles I've been reading, there's like 50 cases. So he was a little tentative about it, but he said he would do it. So we scheduled that. Um, I had my test last week, last Tuesday, and it's been a week and you can still see there we go. So I had uh, a control, a histamine, one, two, three, and then pure. So half a dilute, or super, super, super diluted, a little bit more, a little, like half dilution, and then full blown. You can see the bruise here, but you can't really feel it. I have like a big disc of like hard reaction there. <laughs> it's pulled up to like, I don't know, the size of like a baseball, like within like 24 hours. It was really, really kind of gross. Oh, and I had to be off all my allergy medicine for a week before the test, so I was, like, already miserable. But <laughs> I got to take, like, a whole bunch of steroids and everything, all my allergy medicine after that appointment, so it's been going away. It's fine now. But it definitely was a positive, which means I definitely have this. So the next step for me is to see my primary care doctor and get a referral to Stanford. Um, luckily, I live in California. I only live a couple hours away from Stanford. So I'm hoping that I will have a new care team there. Um, yeah, I'm going to link some articles about it below and my blog. I did a blog post about the test if you wanted to actually see like step-by-step -step photos of the reaction or anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a diagnosis, which is crazy. And it's autoimmune, which makes so much sense because every doctor I've been to is like, you, it, it kind of looks like you have an autoimmune disease, but you don't fit any of them. Like, none of the autoimmune diseases are a perfect fit, so I'm not going to diagnose you with anything. Um, I've almost been diagnosed with, like, lupus and arthritis and a whole bunch of other stuff because my joints hurt like crazy, and I have all sorts of other weird symptoms, but this is it. This is it. And so, I am, it's not exactly one I really wanted. Being allergic to your own hormones is really shitty. Um, I'm hoping I can have kids. Um, it's a, it's scary, okay? It is woman to woman here. It is scary being 25 and having this thought in your head that maybe you can't have kids. Um, we were kind of hoping to start our family in the next like year and now I'm scared because I don't know how it's going to go because like I said, it's called the pregnancy hormone. But it is, I do have hope. I'm staying really positive. I've been talking to a few girls online who've said that they've had successful pregnancies. So, cross your fingers for me, you guys. This is going to be an adventure. But the best news out of all of this is A, I have a diagnosis, and B, I can finally start adding in all of the things I've been avoiding the whole summer long. I wore a bra a few days ago and I didn't break out, <laughs> which means I'm probably not actually allergic to um, polyester or anything. It's probably just been the fact that my body has been so freaked out over being on birth control and having so much progesterone in my body every day that I was just breaking out randomly and it probably has nothing to do with all the stuff I've been avoiding. Fingers crossed. So, I've been very slowly like one thing a week, adding something in. I used a body wash the other day, uh, the Body Shop body wash. It smells so good. After not being able to use any of my like good, fragrant, delicious body care, being able to use body wash is like a guilty pleasure now. I'm like, every time I'm in the shower, I'm like, ooh, mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. It's stupid, but means I should be able to start living like a normal person again, wearing normal clothes, wearing normal makeup. Um, I can not wear cotton gloves when I go out of the house and be able to touch things. Um, I'm so excited about this because hopefully it means that with the right medica medication, I should be able to live a standardly normal life again. 
hopefully. So yeah, um, look forward to some awesome makeup tutorials and stuff again because it looks like I will be able to use makeup again. So that's the best news I've ever heard. Although, you know, like I said, plus and minus. I'm really scared I can't have kids, but at least I can wear makeup. I am a very optimistic person, so I am very optimistic that the team at Stanford that I wind up getting assigned to will be able to help figure this out. So anyways, I love you guys so much. If you have anything you want to say to me, leave me a comment down below. I'm on Twitter at Lipstick Dupe, Instagram Sarah Loves Coffee, or anywhere else you can find me. Just search Lipstick Dupe and I'm pretty much everywhere. Um, Oh, and I'm on Reddit at Allergy Rash. My blog is 67allergiesandcounting.com. I will link that stuff below, though, if you want to see any pictures or anything. And yeah, so I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!